Hey everybody, it's me, Chris Kraft from Wildcrats. I'm out here by a stream and a pond and there are lots of creatures around me, like those Canada geese and a few other creatures all around. I like to come to places like this, out in nature, to read books sometimes. One of the reasons I like it is because you never know, while I'm reading, there might be a really cool creature that passes by. So I'm always on the lookout, even while I'm reading. Now, last time I read to you, we read our Wild Kratz book called Wild Dogs and Canines. And this time, we're gonna read Wild Cats. So get your pet cat or your pet dog, get cozy with your pet, or, you know, get cozy outside like I am, or inside, or with a family member, and let's start reading. Wild Cats. Big or small, wild or tame, cats are one of the wild cats' favorite predators. Members of the cat family are smart, fast, and strong. And those are just a few of their creature powers. Oh yeah, tiger cubs and our tiger power suits. Cats around the world. There are 38 species of wild cats in the world. There are big wild cats, such as lions and tigers. There are medium-sized wild cats, such as lynxes and caracals. There are even small ones, such as margays and African wild cats. There are a couple big ones, the lions and the tigers. The medium-sized ones, like lynxes and caracals and small ones like the margay and the African wildcat. Cubs and kittens. The young of big cats are called cubs. The young of medium and small cats are called kittens. Mother cats care for their young and teach them how to hunt. There are the cubs, the tigers, the big cats, and there are some kittens the caracals, and the margay. They're watching and learning the, from the adults how to hunt. How cats hunt. Cats are very good hunters. Some cats rely on speed to hunt. Others use their size and strength. Cats have sharp claws, sharp teeth, and powerful jaws that help them catch prey. Martin says, shh, quiet, now pounce. This little guy's learning how to, how to hunt, trying to catch a butterfly. Oh, and see what big prey that tigers hunt? Big deer, like sambar deer. Big wildcats. Lions live in savannas and dry forests. They are one of the biggest cats. They mostly hunt big mammals, such as zebras and wildebeest. Lions often hunt in groups to take down animals that a single lion could not. And Martin says, that's teamwork. Lions definitely use teamwork and strategy to take down their prey. Medium wild cats. Caracals are great jumpers. Their main prey is birds. Their cousin, the serval, hunts rodents and other small prey. Both of these cats live in the same areas as lions. See, there's the caracal making that spectacular leap to catch a bird right out of the air. There's the beautiful serval and, of course, the lions. Live in the same area, but hunt different prey in different ways. Orange and black stripes. Many types of cats have stripes, but the tiger is the most famous. Their stripes hide them in the forest shadows while they hunt. Siberian tigers are one of the biggest cats in the world, Martin says in his tiger power suit. There's the big Siberian tiger. And oh yeah, they use stealth and camouflage to hunt. Spot the cat. Like stripes, spots help cats, such as ocelots, 
blend in with their surroundings. Ocelots are very good tree climbers. They hunt lizards, monkeys, and other small prey. There's Chris in his ocelot power suit with the ocelot saying, hanging and hunting in the trees. They really are great climbers, those ocelots. Spotted speedsters. Cheetahs are the fastest of all cats. Their bodies have evolved to run at great speeds. Unlike most cats, their claws always stick out a little to grip the ground when they run. Martin's running with the cheetah, saying, we're at top speed, 65 miles per hour. And I'm in trouble. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get taken out. Versatile hunters. Jaguars are stocky and muscular. They mostly live in the jungles of Central and South America. They hunt on land and in water. Leopards are lean and muscular. They live in Asia and Africa. They climb high into trees to keep their food away from lions. There's the jaguar in the water, no problem, likes water. Hunting a caiman and other crocodilians. Oh yeah, and they are such good climbers, those leopards. Bigfoot. Furry lynxes often live in very cold areas. Their big feet enable them to run on top of the snow. Their prey include hares, rabbits, and other small creatures. Look at those big feet of the lynx. They're like snowshoes in the snow, keeping them on top. And Martin has this lynx power suit, and I'm riding the snowshoe hair. And I'm saying, we have big feet too, the snowshoe hairs do. But Martin's saying, I'm still going to catch you. <laughs> Name game. Mountain lions live in the Americas. They have many habitats, ranging from the desert to snowy mountains. They also have different names in different places. Look at this map. There's North America and South America. So the same kind of wildcat in the Rockies is called a cougar. Other places out west, they're sometimes called mountain lions. In the east, the northeast, they're called catamounts. In Florida, they're called panthers. And in South America, they're most often called pumas. And as Martin says here, Different name, same wildcat, basically the same. Now the Florida panther is a type of mountain lion. It has been known to clash with another fierce predator, the alligator. There are less than 250 Florida panthers left in the world. They may soon disappear forever. Look at that. Pretty amazing, that would be awesome to see. A Florida panther face to face with an alligator. And look at the cubs looking, looking on and learning about how to deal with an alligator. Some wildcats, such as the Caspian tiger, have died out. Bengal tigers are endangered and cheetah numbers are declining. Wildcats are amazing creatures. Humans should try to help wildcats survive so we can always find them out there. On the prowl and in the wild. Activate wildcat powers. Oh, yeah, wildcats are some pretty amazing creatures and you know, if you have a pet cat, one thing that's really fun to do is to observe your cat's behaviors and how they act around you and try to connect it to some of the behaviors of some of the wild cats you know things about. Because you see a lot of similarities, like take the way that your pet cat likes to play. They like to pounce on things, right? 
just like the cubs in this book, practice their hunting by pouncing on things like butterflies and learning their hunting skills, that's how our pet cats like to play too. It's ingrained in them. Another thing is different cats have different like personalities or creature nowadays, right? Some pet cats like to be on their own. They're more independent and stuff. They're more like leopard type cats. But then other pet cats are kind of social. They like to be around humans. They like to snuggle with humans. And those are more lion-like pet cats. So which kind of pet cat do you have? A leopard type or a lion type? Check it out. So everybody, fun hanging out with you today. Keep on reading, keep on creature adventuring, and we'll see you on the creature trail. Bye.